Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question on linear motion. The distance between two towns A and B is 360 kilometers. A minibus left town A at 8.15 a.m. and traveled towards B at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. A motorist left B two and a third hours later and on the same day and traveled towards A. If they met at 12.15 p.m., find the average speed of the motorist. The distance between A and B, start from there. The distance between A and B is given. So that is A and B. That distance is 360 kilometers. So the minibus left A. The minibus left A towards B, which is moving in that direction at 60 kilometers per hour and it left at 8.15 left a at 8.15 a.m. then the motorist left B the motorist left B towards A so it was moving this direction two and a third hours later so to get the time that it left uh, the minibus left at 8.15 so two and a third hours later is you add two hours and a third is the same as two hours and 20 minutes. So that will give us a 10.35. So the motorist left at 10.35 words A. And they met at 12.15. So we can assume that they met somewhere here. They met at 12.15 somewhere else so this being the meeting point we are supposed to find the average speed of the motorist now the first thing we're going to do is to get the distance traveled by the minibus by the time the motorist was beginning the journey remember the minibus left at 8 15 the motorist left at 10 35 so what distance was covered by the minibus by the time the motorist was beginning the journey so how do you get the distance? Distance is given by speed times time. So the speed of the minibus. So this is the minibus. That is the minibus. And then this one is the motorist. So the speed of the minibus is 60 kilometers per hour. Then times the time. Uh, Traveled that is from 8.15 to 10.35 because we want to get the distance traveled by the time the motorist was beginning the journey. So that difference from 10, uh, from 8.15 to 10.35, that will give two and a third hours. So two and a third hours. So we multiply this, you get 60 kilometers per hour times this will seven over three hours. And this will give, you multiply these, you'll get this one as 140 kilometers. So that means um, it had traveled for 140 kilometers so by 1035. So we can get it here. So maybe it had traveled um, so up to this point. So from this point, this is at 1035. So by 10.35, it had traveled 140 kilometers. So the remaining distance, you simply get 360. That will now be the distance between them, 360 kilometers, the whole distance from A to B. And then you subtract this distance traveled by the minibus, that is 140. So the distance between them will therefore be 220 kilometers. So between this point, so between this point here, because at 1035, you, you know, you're getting the distance from, we have, we've got the distance from A to 1035. So this is the point at 1035. And uh, remember the, the motorist began the journey at 1035. So the distance between the two, the minibus and the motorist at 1035, therefore 220 kilometers. So this distance, this distance here.
that is 220 kilometers, this is 140. So after getting that distance, now we need to get, um, uh, to have an expression showing the time that they used to meet, the time taken for them to meet. We already have these, we are going to get it by from 10.35 now, time taken to meet. So time taken to meet. That is um, from, from 10.35 a.m. to 12.15, 12.15 p.m. Because the 10.35, that was when the motorist was leaving B2A. And the distance between them, we have it. So the time taken, again, if you want to calculate the time taken to meet, uh, starting from the minibus, the min that is uh, from 10.35. Now this is where they are at par now. From 10.35 to 12.15. So this is the time taken to meet. Or you can calculate from B, that is from motorist, from 10.35 to 12.15. So we still get... Um, the same answer so we get the difference so from 12 12 15 subtract 10 35 this will give zero this will give 40 then this is one hour so this is one hour one hour and 40 minutes that is the time taken to meet you can write this one as um one and uh, 40 divided by 60 convert this one to our two hours this will be two thirds two thirds one and two thirds and this will give um five divided by three of an hour this is the time taken to meet now to calculate that calculate time taken to meet since we have two bodies that are moving in opposite direction they are moving in opposite direction relative to each other. We must calculate the relative speed. We must have the relative speed. So relative speed. And if we have bodies that are moving in the opposite direction, like in this case, the minibus is moving from A to B, then the motorist B to A. So when you have two bodies moving in opposite direction, to get the relative speed, we do add. We add their speeds. So we take the speed of them, the speed of the minibus, which is 60 kilometers per hour. And since we don't have the speed of the motorist, we shall let it to be X kilometers per hour. So X kilometers per hour. So this will be the relative speed. Therefore, how do we get this time taken to meet, which is 5 over 3? Time taken to meet is going to be given by the distance between them. And the distance between them is 220 kilometers divided by the relative speed. And forget that. That time, we get it by distance divided by speed. So distance is 220. Relative speed is 60 plus x. And these should give us the time taken to meet. That is 5 over 3 hours. So we simply need to cross multiply these and get the solution. So I will work it out here. So let me work it out here. So we have, um, when you cross multiply here, we shall have 220 times 3. So 220 times 3 is equals to 5 multiply by 60 plus x 60 plus x like that so this will give 660 is equals to this will be 300 5 times 60 then plus 5 x so therefore 5 x will be given by if we take this one to this side it will be 660 subtract 300 this will give 300 and 60 and therefore x will be given by 360 divided by 5 72 kilometers so remember 
we are supposed to get the average speed of the motorist which is denoted by x here it is denoted by x and therefore x is equals to 72 72 kilometers per hour that is the solution